Hi, James here. Wow, two videos in one day. Careful, slow down, James. No, I appreciate that. I haven't been doing very many videos lately. Uh, I've got a few more recorded. I've just got to edit them and upload them. It's just having time to do it. So hopefully I'll try and get around and do them as quick as I can. Okay, so this uh, video goes out to a few people that emailed me and asked this question. How do you print something from a computer on a printer that's connected to another computer in another room in the house? Okay, what you're referring to there is called printer sharing. Okay, and it's it's quite easy to do and it's easy to set up. And there are actually a few videos on YouTube showing you how to do it. But one person has requested, can you do it uh, between Windows 7 and Windows XP? Okay, you can do it. And no video on YouTube as of yet that I've seen shows you how to do it between Windows XP and Windows 7. So what I'll do is I'll show you how to... Um, print a share between XP and XP first then I'll show you how to print a share between XP and Windows 7 so a lot of people question the network capabilities between Windows 7 and XP but actually they're okay they do work pretty well together and I've been using Windows 7 on machines in my house that are on a network and I'm yet to have a problem with networking between that and Windows XP so that's something okay so first thing you've got to do is go to the computer which your printer is connected to OK, so now we're on the computer in the office. Now, this is the computer that the printer is actually attached to. Uh, so first thing you want to do here is go to My Computer and right-click. Then go to Properties. Then up the top here, you want to find a tab that says Computer Name. OK, so click on that. And it will say down here, it will say Full Computer Name. OK, now this one is called Office and the work group is BallNet. Okay, so what you want to do is write these two down and keep these at hand because you'll need these later on. Okay, So once you've written those down, now what you want to do is go to Start Menu, go to Control Panel, and then down here near the middle somewhere you'll have an icon that says Printers and Faxes. So double click on that and this will list all the printers you've got attached in this machine. Okay, now I've got many because a lot of these are actually like uh, like I've got my cute PDF writer and the virtual printers and stuff. Now there's two main uh, printers that I have attached to this computer. I've got a Kodak EasyShare uh, printer dock and a Brother DCP-115C. Now these are the two which I want to share. So find the printers or printer you want to share and right click on it and go to properties. Now up the top here you've got um, sharing here click on that and then click on share this printer okay now you wanna click a share name for the printer I'm just gonna leave it here as office because that's what it's called so name the printer whatever you wanna call it and click apply and then click OK and now you'll notice there's a little hand underneath the printer now that means it's shared okay so I'm going to do the same to this one which is the Kodak one which is offline at the moment because I've got it unplugged uh, sharing I'm just going to click share this print I'm just going to leave it as printer 4 click apply and then click OK and that's it that's literally all you've got to do from this end so once you've done that everything else has got to be done from the other machines on the network OK, so once you've done that, then you've got to go to the computer which you want to now connect to that printer that has XP on it. Right, OK, so now we're on the computer that we want to connect to that printer, OK? So we're running XP, so this is how you do it on XP. So you do it, go to Start Menu, then we go to Control Panel, and again, go to Printers and Faxes, double-click on that, and you want to click here where it says Add a Printer, so click there and then it's going to come up with this box, just click next. Right now you've got two options, you can either add a local printer attached to this computer or you can add a network printer or a printer attached to another computer, so you want to click that and click next. Right now there's two ways you can do this, you can either browse for it or you can click here and if you know the name of the computer you can type in slash slash name of your computer, so mine's office, then do another slash and then put the name of the printer Okay, now, but if you do it this way, the chances are you'll probably get an error message that looks like this. Okay, so don't worry if you do get that. Okay, it's very common. So just then go click on here where it says browse for printer. Click next. 
Okay, you'll need to know the work group. Okay, now this is default work group, and this is the one that my network is called BallNet. Do you remember earlier when we said I said to note down the work group? So you want to click on or double click on that. Okay, so now we've got the two printers here. We've got the Office Brother DCP 115C USB printer. And we've got the Kodak Easy Share, the two printers which do you remember I said selected to share. So we'll select the one we want for now. This is the Office, the Brother uh, DP, uh, DCP, sorry. So select whatever printer you want, click next. It says you're about to connect to a printer and it wants to install a driver, okay? This will install the little utility that enables you to use the controls for that printer. So just click yes and it will take a second to do this. Okay, it says, uh, do you want to use it as your default printer? Okay, if you've got another printer attached to this computer, I would recommend you don't use it as your default. But if you, if this is the only printer you've got and you're sharing it, then just click yes. You want it as your default printer. So click next, and then it tells you all the information. Click finish, and you're done. And you can see now in your printers and faxes, you've now got another printer there, and that will be whatever the name of the printer is and the name of the computer it's connected to and a little tick to say it's your default printer. Okay, so once you've done that, if we now go into like Microsoft Office or something and go to uh, print, it should be in the list, there we go, it's the default printer, Office Brother. So if I now click OK, that will print that on the printer in the other room. But I don't want to do that because it's just going to waste paper. So there you go, that's how you do it on XP. Okay, so that's how you do it with Windows XP, so now I'll quickly go through how to do it in Windows 7. Now it is similar, but there's a few differences, so I'll just show you that. Right, okay, so I'm now booted into Windows 7, so now I'll show you how to do this, um, how to access that printer from Windows 7. Okay, so first of all you need to go to the Start menu, and go to Control Panel. Right, now in the top of the Control Panel here you've got this address bar. So we need to click on the little triangle and add an address. So click here where it says all control panel items. And down here on the right hand side, normally about four from the top, you've got this one here, it says devices and printers. So click on that. And it will take a minute because it's got a scan for devices and drivers and stuff. Right, that's loaded. Okay, in this top bar here you've got two options. You've got add a device or add a printer. So click here where it says add a printer and you've got two options again you can either add a local printer so that would be a printer connected to this machine like USB or something and then you've got add a network wireless or Bluetooth printer so you want to click that one and what it's going to do it's going to scan it should find two printers uh, it's going to scan to find all the printers on the network okay so it's found the two printers the two that I was sharing do you remember I selected those two so you want to select the one that you want first, do one at a time, so I'll select this one first, which is the normal, which should be my brother uh, DCP115, so click that and then click next. Now it may want to start installing a driver and it may come up with a little message saying do you want to install the driver. Um, yes, you do want to install the driver if it comes up with that because uh, otherwise you won't be able to use the little utility that comes with the printer. Okay, so once it's done that, it will show you the printer's name uh, and all that, so just click next. Uh, and then you can either print a test page, but I don't recommend doing that because it just wastes paper. And there we go, so now in the list you've got Brother DCP115C. So it's recognised the printer, and it should now be your default printer. Well, I'm just going to show you this in action. So uh, I'm just, I've got Microsoft Word open, and I'm just going to think of the most random word I can think of. Uh, Clenge. I have not got a clue what that word is or what it means, but we're going to print it. So we go file, print. I'm just going to do a quick print, fast print, because I don't want good quality. I'm only messing about. Okay, click OK. And then we go into the office. Excuse the mess. And it prints. That's pretty quick considering it's sending it over network. But then again, it is gigabit, so. And there we go. There is our clench.
clearly the ink is running out. If anyone actually knows what that word is or means, please leave a comment. So there you go, I hope this video has been a help and I hope it was easy enough to follow and it's answered your question. Uh, if you have got any other questions, just bung a comment below or uh, send me a personal message. I would recommend bunging a comment below though, I can reply to comments a lot quicker. Okay, so there you go, thank you for watching, practice and enjoy.